Hi everyone, it's David. Um, first I would like to, and Mom and Dean just came. First I would like to um, congratulate the Combs Performing Arts Center for winning the 2023 Best Live Theater in the East Valley. Congratulations to the Combs Performing Arts Center. And to Corey. And, yeah. And to Coriana Lee. Yeah. Who's yes. The manager of the Combs Performing Arts Center and a great volunteer um, coordinator, how you would put that. Yeah. All right, so let's get on to what we... What we're talking about. <laughs> on Thursday, we went to AYT to see Footloops. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo. Mm -hmm. And what a great performance, man. You guys get better and better and better and better and better every time we see you do a performance. It was a great show. We saw the Paradise... Paradise Cast. Paradise Cast. Very and nice. man, we were, we were all dancing in our seats. Everybody was just clapping and hooting and hollering. and It was really, really great. Uh, Ren McCormick was played by Tyler and Ariel... Uh, more was played by Emily, and you guys, the, the chemistry between you guys was just fantastic, and your voices were spot on. Rusty was played by uh, Rachel, and uh, Rachel, we've seen you in a couple of, of productions. We've and, seen her in Cats, and yeah, and, we've seen her in a couple other productions. And boy, uh, your voice is just getting more and more mature and stronger and so good. Wendy Jo was played by Avery. Um, Avery, I think this is like maybe the second time, maybe first or second time. Yeah. You were terrific. In fact, Rusty, Wendy Jo, and Yerween are three friends that are together. And it was played by Rachel, Avery, and our girl, Abby. <laughs> and Abby. I have to say, um, whoever does the casting always manages to do a fantastic job of melding people together. You three girls were just so fantastic. Your harmonies, um, your personalities, they just blended so well. And especially the harmonies when you all sang together, it was so beautiful. And Abby, I, you know, David and I remember seeing you when we first started coming to AYT and you've grown into such a beautiful young lady and your voice was just Phenomenal. I mean, and her shoes. Thank and you. <laughs> yes, and I'm always happy to see your beautiful, sparkly shoes. But the three of you girls together, what a beautiful sound you made when you sang together and um, and acting together. It was just when they sang magical. somebody's eyes. Um, the yeah, harmony. somebody's eyes it gave me the chills, and I looked at Mom and Dean, and I'm like, wow. Yeah, we we looked at each other, and we went, whoa. <laughs> It was just beautiful. In fact, all of you, your your voices are just so strong and and beautiful. And everybody, the harmonies, especially when the whole group sang, it was just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Don't know what your parents are feeding you, but they're doing a good job. Oh, <laughs> Harry Potter in the house. I must have my phone in here someplace. Uh, Willard was Willard Hewitt was played by Connor. Reverend Shaw Moore was played by Porter, and Vi Moore was played by Katrina. And again, Porter and Katrina, um, you guys played such a great part, and, and your personalities matched, and uh, so it made the part believable. You know, kids playing adults sometimes, it's hard to imagine, but you guys did such a great job that you played the part like an adult, and it was really, really great. Really, really great. Um, Ethel McCormick was played by uh, Arian, and <clears throat> uh, that was Ren's mom. And again, you played an adult part, you know, a teenager playing an adult part. But you played the part so well, it made me believe that you were Ren's mom. Um, and you had me laughing, you had me crying. It was just so good, just so good. Um, Chuck Cranston was played by Ryan. And Chuck, it's the first time I saw you as a bad boy. And you played the part so well, but don't become a bad boy. Because I love you just the way you are. But you were really, really good. You played the part so well. Um, 
Let's see. Coach. Coach Dunbar was played by Owen Aspinall. Uh, Owen. And Owen, you played the part great. You, you <laughs> sounded just like a high school coach. Just like a high school coach. Um, I had mostly female high school coaches, but I remember our our uh, gyms were only separated by a pull-out wall, and you could always hear the high school boys' coaches on the other side. You sounded just like them. Uh, <laughs> Eleanor Dunbar was played by Lana. Um, and again, you guys matched beautifully together. Um, Cowboy Bob was played by Maddie. Lyle was played, um, and it was funny because some of the girls played guys' parts, and you did it beautifully. In fact, um, oh, I, Iris, I didn't even recognize you. I was like, I know I, Olive and Iris are playing it, and I found Olive, but I couldn't find Iris. Then all of a sudden it dawned on me. Oh, there she is. <laughs> but it was really good. Lyle was played by Sanaya. Uh, Sanaya. Uh, Travis was played by Emily. Uh, Jetter was played by Remington. Uh, Bickle was played by Olive. Uh, Gavin was played by Iris. Betty Blass was played by Haley. Uh, Wes Work Workenicker was played by Aaron. Lulu Workenicker was played by Korea. And the principal was played by Sarah. And Sarah, you were a typical principal. You were perfect in the part. Again, kids playing adult parts. Um, those of you that had to play the adult parts, you played them perfectly. Perfectly. Uh, you made me believe that you were adults. That's how good you were. And then in the ensemble. Oh, the ensemble? Yeah, yes. I'm going to do the ensemble. Yeah, because right. In the ensemble... Um, Emily and Iris Isabel was in the ensemble, Caitlin was in the ensemble, London was in the ensemble, Marissa, Mason, uh, Mason, I loved your sparkles all over your face, that was so cute. Um, Olive was in the ensemble, Remington was in the ensemble, Sanai was in the ensemble, our beautiful little Sophie was in the ensemble, you were so cute, Sophie. Uh, Sophie Lee was in the ensemble. And let's see, Abby uh, was also in the ensemble. Brendan, Elise, James, uh, Korea, uh, Kaylin, uh, Carissa, Lana, Mackenzie, Marco, Molly, um, Sarah, Sarissa, Skyler, and Sophie. All you Sophies. <laughs> but um, you guys were just really, really, really good. Um, and we just had a great time. We just we just had a great time. So thank you for such a good time. We just uh, it, it was just a great show. I'm uh, glad that we were able to um, feel bad that you guys got sick the week before and had to cancel. But I'm just glad that Dave and I were able to find a week um, that we could come and see because I would have been so sad if we had to miss it. Uh, their next show coming up is Singing in the Rain, and that's going to be from February 29th through March 9th. And we're looking forward to coming to see that, Singing in the Rain Jr., because that is one of my favorite all-time movies and plays. So we're looking forward to seeing that. There you go. Okay. Uh, so coming next step, we're going to go see... Is we're finally going back to the hail. I know. <laughs> hail Theater, we're coming back to see you. Woo! -hoo! Um, to see Life Can Be a Dream on February 19th at 7.30. And then the following week, we'll be going to see the Hale Theater's My Fair Lady on February 28th. Day after David's no, birthday. Yeah, day after my birthday. Yes, yes. David's birthday is on the 27th. We will be at the Hale on the 28th. So we'll be there on the 19th, 19th of February and the 28th of February. And we're very excited and can't wait to get back to the Hale because we have really, really missed you guys. Um, David will be volunteering at the Combs. I'll be volunteering at the Combs Performing Arts Center. Um, we have such a great list of shows 
if you want to go on our website, I don't know any of them off the top of my head. Um, if you want to go on to the Combs Performing Arts on our website, they have a list of shows. Coming up. Coming right up. now, a lot of the things coming up are um, spelling bees and um, civics bees, civic bees so and like stuff. school events. School events but I right do now. know in April will be um, the Combs, Combs High School, the Combs Drama Program, will be performing Into the Woods on April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Yes, so, so come come out and see Into the Woods. So come see Combs um, Curtain Call. Combs Curtain Call will be performing Into the Woods, which is really exciting. Really exciting. And um, in August, oh God. sometime in August, David will be doing... I'll be doing this... I'll be co-emceeing again on... Sometime in August, I'll be um, announcing the date, as I know... Um, I will be co-emceeing again at our season announcement event. So that's, and we're get, I'm looking forward to that very well. Yeah, as we get more information, we'll pass it on. Um, so I think that's about it. Oh, um, <clears throat> those of you that are Chosen fans, um, season four, one, two, and three, I think today is the last day to see one, two, and three. Um... Four, five, and six are going to be coming up, I believe, right after, um, I believe this coming week, uh, it, season uh, four, five, uh, four, five, and six should be coming up this weekend, um, right after uh, Ash Wednesday. So get your tickets for that. You don't want to miss it. So the first... It's going to be in the movie theaters. Yep, it's going to be in the movie theaters. So look up Fandango or um, AMC. A lot of the AMC theaters are, are showing it. Uh, you don't want to miss it because 1, 2, and 3 were mind-blowing. I mean, mind-blowing. Uh, hats off to Dallas and the Chosen uh, team. What a great job you guys are doing. Uh, it just was so amazing. Uh, I know you probably got some uh, controversy on it and uh, to those uh, who gave you downers <clears throat> because I'm telling you it was your first three um, were phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. Um, you really uh, you really help us to think that the apostles did not have it all peaches and cream as we may think they did because they were followers of Jesus. You show us that even they had rough times, but they still stuck with Jesus even through the rough times. And it's something we need all to hear these days. Uh, even through the rough times, don't give up on God. This is when we need God the most. And uh, so my hat's off to Dallas and the chosen uh, cast. cast and family because um, you're really doing a great thing. And if people don't like what you're writing, um, that's too bad because this is what we need to see and to hear. That in times of tough time, that's when we need to, to grab onto God the most. And if the apostles can do it and Jesus can do it, we can do it. Uh, so my hat's off to them and to the chosen uh, team. Um, also, Medieval Times is going. Um, Barleen's is going. Silver Star. Silver Star is going, so check them all out. Mesa Encore. Mesa Encore, so give them a um, check out. And uh, theater's all over. There's all kinds of really great stuff going on um, to get us out of the house with this cold and gloomy weather that we're experiencing and not used to in Arizona. But uh, get out there, get, have some fun, and uh, keep watching us. And thank you to everybody that does follow us. And um, what can I say? AYT, you guys did it again. And thank you for a fantastic evening. Uh, we really had a lot of fun. So from Mama D and David, have a great week, have a blessed week, and God bless.
Have and a great week. I gotta sneak out and close the camera. Bye. Love you. <laughs>